Hello my crazy crafters. My name is Lisa Renee and welcome back to my video. Um, today we are going to be doing um, young lady here. And I've already um, chose the materials that I'm going to use which I, I got a piece of cloth um, I mean fabric from Joann's. And you know you never buy nothing from Joann's or Michael's without a coupon. So this was just, I probably got like a half of yard. And this here is, this piece here is 10. by six and we are going to be doing these pots here which is smaller than these and then this will be the hands and the feet of our flower pot lady so we will start and I got some um, decorative pieces that I just picked up and let me go ahead and show you all I have these two little pieces here and I cut them. You can use scissors, but I actually have these. I need these. These, which you can use, it's like a, it's really like a wire cutter. You can get these from the Dollar Store, which is where I got them from. You can also get them from Michael's or Joanne's with a coupon, but if it's more than $1.25, you know where to go. So these little pieces here, um, is actually going to go in the is going to hold the legs up on here. Well, I mean, hold this up on the underneath the feet. But let me show you. See, they're going to hang like this. So, and I just got glue in there. We're going to glue them up to there and they're going to hang down like this. Okay? Okay. So let's get started. I decided to go with the pink. I'm thinking kind of breast cancer awareness. So let's go ahead and get started. And this is just an extra piece we're gonna put on top. It could be maybe a hat or it could just be, you know, the cover. Cause you can put stuff in here. You can put candy, you can set your remote, you can sit whatever you want in there. So I measure this around this part here and I just kind of wrapped it around you know we could cut it but I just kind of did this figured that this would be big enough to do that so we'll just line it up actually let's lay it down so you can see. And I have my hot glue gun that's um, also already plugged up. So we'll do that and kind of overlap the back. Like this. And I can cut some of this off. Kind of, kind of pull it kind of snug. Just so that you can try to get your ends to meet in the back together. Yep. So we got a lot left over. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold this here while I cut it. So I make sure that I'm cutting. Maybe we should tuck it underneath. Yeah, let's do that. But we still wanna cut some of this off. This is just a little too much here. Let me get my... Um, craft scissors and if, if you guys don't know about these these are awesome scissors it's easier on your hand they are hand friendly so and they kind of help you just kind of they, they glide right along and they have the little um, snap back so it kind of helps you cut so if your hands get tired or achy after you've been cutting a lot you should most definitely invest in these scissors and again i think they were like 17 dollars 18 dollars um but again with your coupon they have 60 percent coupons off sometime as well um take advantage of those coupons don't buy nothing without a coupon nothing okay okay 
So we're gonna go ahead and So we have this cut, so we know that this is where this is gonna go, right? So let's go ahead and measure out our, uh, I'm gonna call them on pot arms, okay? Pot arms and pot legs. And, um, oh, and just the background, of some that already, already made these. Let me see. She actually, she was in an accident. She was in a pot accident. She had like a crack here. I had put them in the garage. Well, I made them, I put them in the garage, and, um, yeah, she, um, she had a little accident. Um, and this is our, our navy, it could be, you know, any of the services, and the face, it could be a male face or a female face, or whatever you want to make. You can also put the name on the, um, dog tag. We got a little Miss Diva here, and we have, um, the dog... You can see him. I actually did a video on him somewhere. I got to find it. So I didn't, I got tired of looking. So I just decided to do a quick one. And this is Mr. Western Guy. And I just took a piece of old fabric. Actually, this fabric was all crunchy and, you know, it was just old. So I was playing around with it. And I made him. And I thought it was pretty cool. So if you want to put clothes on your, look, let me not move nothing. So if you want to put clothes on your people, look, this is an easy way to do it. It's just a piece of fabric. This piece here, I put this around here and this. So there you have it. So you just let your creative juices flow. So I'll put it back so we can get started with this so that we don't make it a long video. So this is going to go on top like this. This is going to be the top part and this is going to be the bottom part. And this one just like some of them, I mean, some of them will have pot legs, some of them won't. It's your preference if you want them to have pot legs or not. So we're going to, and this here is just the twine that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And it comes, it's 120 feet. And normally when you get these, I cut it off. It comes with a hard, like the ends are normally hard because they don't want it to like fray. So they... I just put a little hot glue on it and kind of squeeze it. That's what I do when I finish with it so that it makes sure that it stays together. Normally, it's not, you don't come apart that easily, but you don't want it to come apart on you. So, we're going to measure because we're going to have the hands are going to fall about right here, right? So, let's see if they're going to be about here. And it's going to go across it's going to go across here and then we, we're going to tie this up in here and put these little pieces so that they don't come out and as a matter of fact i need to cut two more so i'll go ahead and show you how i did it and you can get a pencil if you need you don't i'm just using this so that you guys to make it easy for you i just kind of eyeball it so i just take a popsicle stick and i mark it and this is how i did the measurement you see the little hole here and some of them have a hole, some of them don't. Normally, the smaller ones come with the hole, which is really good. You don't have to drill a hole in it. And I will do another video showing you some quick and easy ways how to drill the holes because they could be um, a nerve wrecker. So you would take your popsicle stick and you, you want to kind of put it in between the line because the popsicle stick is going to be on the inside. So you only have this amount of space to put it in, which is going to be the same space here so see, I just put the marking right on the inside and I'm going to take my wire cutters and as a matter of fact you know what when you get these from the dollar store I think you they come in a pack so I am going to just place it on this part because this is the part that actually like will cut the wire this here I put it in between there you can use scissors but sometimes it'll um like break a piece off sometimes so I just found these to be better for me. So I kind of squeeze it, you hear that? And then I just snap it and it snap right off. And then you can do, see, did I look? See like this, pull the piece off here. So, and we'll just repeat that and it's okay. It's gonna be glued on. So, so we'll just do here. And then 
will snap it. That was a little cleaner cut. So we'll do it again. So now we have our four pieces. That's a little short. Let me make sure that this one fit. I think this one, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So what we're gonna do is glue this across here. going to sit this one on top so we're going to when we glue this down we're going to glue this so that this is where we want it because it's going to stay there once it's glued on it's not going to move so rule of thumb you make sure your arms are as straight as you can um or you might have one in the front one in the back you want to try to avoid that so you, when you glue it down you just want to make sure that they both kind of you know on the sides where the arms will be and I'm going. I'll use hot glue, and I also use a little um, E6000. And if you have a permanent glue of your choice, um, you can use that. But this seems to work for me. Um, I haven't had any issues with them coming loose. And um, you want to make sure your heat gun. I don't know if you have what kind of heat gun you have, but I have um, AdTech, which I think I got this from Michaels. No, I got this from I think um, Joanne's with my coupon and it has the settings up to high and low and I try to kind of cut it up a little high because I want to make sure that it's um get the job done because you have to be mindful of your temperature when you're using a heat gun like these they come in one temperature you know you cut them on and they're gonna get as hot as they're gonna get no no hotter no cooler but some of them like if you're using styrofoam or something like that you want to use a lower heat so that it doesn't burn through the styrofoam so but I love that gun. So we'll just put this to the side. And then. So. We're going to measure. I guess. Let me see. This is going to go in here. And I didn't pre-do this. Because I wanted to share the process with you. And so what I do is I just. Um, although it's going to be on the. Um, little popsicle sticks. I still tie, tie a knot at the bottom. You know, I'll still, I'll still do that. So, um, well, I guess, well, I'll tie a knot, but around here, and then I'll, we'll glue this, and then glue this on. Okay. So let's figure out how long we want it first. Let's start with that. So we know I'm just gonna take some extra out because we're gonna wrap this. So if we wrap this about. Say one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just doing extra seven, you know, about this long, which is we do measurement wise, if you want to know. Because this this is just ast uh, um, estimated guess. So it's about 10. Let's do about 10. So if we got 10 on that side, that means we're going to need 10 on the other side, right? Right. Well, I already got it on us. So I have 10 here. Well, we're going to go ahead and take it out 20. Okay. And then we're going to have this piece uh, here. So we'll just. And it's okay to have a little extra. Because um, I always try to be better safe than sorry. So I, I, I'm going to have a little more than extra. But that's just me. But you can do, you know, more precise measurements so that you can save. Because these, look, I use my pieces though. So. I don't waste much. So let's get the rest started. Put this here until we need it. Okay. So let's go ahead and I guess you don't really have to have a knot if you're because I'm used to doing like the big ones. I, I do the knot and then I just let it fall back. You know but this is just extra precaution so let's do this 
because it's not this is going to stop it from going through the hole at the top it's going to stop it catch it from releasing at the top so let's get started and i also have these which is the crafter square for the fingers um this is for your protection from the hot glue now some of this hot glue will burn your skin off okay i used to use my little daddy here and i used to watch videos and i see people using the hot glue gun and they'd be like oh i burned my finger i burned my skin off and i'd be like i normally would take that hot glue and like roll it up and like put it to the side i'm like it ain't never burn me like that until i got this one this one will burn you right so high temperature is high temperature okay that's skin removal hot hot right there okay so you want to be careful and um you know when we're doing and using high glue you know we're pushing it trying to make sure it's secure these are great for that probably should put one on my thumb but we're going to get started with what we got so we're going to use this one and be careful So I'm going to wrap this up and I guess I do extra because let me, uh, because I, I'll, I'll turn it a couple of extra times and you know just oh and I put little slits on the side because apparently I have fat fingers okay just a little bit so I just put a little cut just to make it a little more comfortable all this shit so, I mean, and it, it'll stay on, and maybe I should try to. Look, some of y'all might need to go way up, but I'm just stuck. I'm not. So, we're going to take this. And again, again, the glue is hot. So, better safe than sorry, right? Right. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going well, I'm going to try to hold it first <laughs> with my extra finger protectors. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to just, see, look, I already got it on my. I feel the heat. See, it's already sticking. So I'm going to put this here to just secure it down across before I start wrapping it. That way, when I wrap it around, it's just more secure. And I'll just put a little bit. And you'll come up with your own way of making it easier. Look, I'm all tangled up already. <laughs> you gotta be careful with them little fire pots because they can break. I mean, they're fragile. It's terracotta. So, and that'll just roll right off of there. I should have more poured out so that I'm not how about I just take it off okay. now I'm going to go ahead and put see these are the smaller ones so it's I mean it's probably best that I had something to hold them with like my little tongs but they're upstairs and I'm not going to get them so I have my glue protectors on so that I don't burn myself. I feel it slipping. So I'm just going to start wrapping it. Ah, see, you got me. And the glue will... Um, seep through this so as you can see see I think that's pretty good 
and then I will put just secure this across here you know And if this video is too long, because I'm just taking my time so I can go through the process with you guys. And if you're impatient while you're watching this video, um, you could always tap your screen to the right and it'll go forward 10 seconds. And or you can tap it to the um, left and it'll go back the same. It may be 15 seconds. I think I changed it to uh, 15 seconds. So it's 10 to 15 seconds if you or you can just push the thing across and make it go where you want to be. Okay. So, we'll run this through here. And as you can see, when you pull it through, see, it is to, you have it, your secure hole. So, what I do is, I take my hot glue, I'm going to put some in here around this hole and then I'm going to pull it through to where it's, it's flat or it lays flat and if you want to like cut like a circle like a piece of fabric a circle or something and stick it in here to hide this you can your preference so once that's kind of snug to there I just kind of fill it up with glue I just glue it so that I make sure that it's secure and it's not going to come loose here oh here you can get the the glue strings off later or you can get them going you can get them off as you go if you like so and then I'll just kind of pull it a little bit and then I'll also try to put a little bit here but you know this is the part that you're going to see so you want to be cautious with you know being a little more using your decorative eye to like fill this up oh sorry I'm not in see to just fill it up like this And we're going to do that for the other side. So I, uh, so I didn't tie them on these. But as you can see, I tied them on that one. And these are smaller too. So these are very light. These little pots are very light. And I get them from, you can get them from Hobby Lobby. You can get them from Home Depot. Or you can get them from the dollar store. Now the dollar store, you, you know, you'll get like four for maybe like $1.25. And if you go to like Home Depot, you'll probably get one for maybe 69 cents, a dollar, a dollar fifty, you know. So if you can get it from the dollar store, you'll get more for your money. So we know that this is going to hang about here. And I kind of use like this, um, the rim here. That's kind of a, a rule of thumb spot. So, you know, that's going to hang about here. So, and this is going to go across here, and we're going to do the same for the bottom. I mean, for the other side. And I, I see I got way too much because I was thinking about doing the knots. So, what I'm going to do is just, let me go ahead and put the pot on the other end, and then we'll, we can go from there. And another thing on the bigger pots and these may have a little a little indention normally on the pots they have like a little um it's like a little cut in it a little indention in the sides so it's easy for you to run your um your string it'll normally fall in like each each line that's on the side here see this little, they like to have one one on each side like on one side of it but the bigger pots they have it um well, I don't have one right here, so 
but yeah so it'll be easier for you to you your string will go in those little slots which is kind of help it hang down a little bit better so and if you want you could put a piece of um, glue here to secure it but we're going to go ahead and figure out where this one oh I did put it on the wrong side you know yup go from the inside and I also like to go slow with these videos sometimes so that if you get your materials before you can do this with me so you can be doing your own while you're looking at it because I'm not like in a rush. So, I, you know, I know I've seen some videos where I'm trying to figure out how it's done. And they go from A to Z real quick. And I'm like, wait, I, what happened in the middle? How did you get there? So, did, I try to do them where you can go along with me while I do them too. So, this is going to be a route here. So, I would probably say... want the string so let's put this about here on the seat. I think you're going to take my finger out. Look, about right here. Okay? We're going to go about right here. So, I just want to make sure that this is... This should be good. Okay. Ouch. So we're going to take, start from the bottom and glue uh, it. See, I keep wanting to use my unprotected finger. I do it like this. I grab my hand in the middle. I got these from the dollar store. The um, the dollars. I got this from I think the ninety nine cent store, and it actually comes with the well, no Dollar Tree. It comes with the um, sharpener. Mhm. Mm Do this a little. So I'll try to speed this up, but not lose you guys. On the back, and let's get to wrapping. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> I guess I need one on my middle finger, huh? It's kind of 
gonna squeeze it, make sure it's tight. I really like just peeked my finger with those. Don't get those. No, actually I love those scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it and see how far off I am. So we'll need to roll it up. So that's Two, three, so about four times, four more times. I think I had it on the side. Was y'all counting? with this hand. I'm not good about leaving the, the hot glue on my hand. <laughs> so we can go ahead and... Yep, that's good. We'll go ahead and secure it. to secure it down. Nice little pull. Hold it there to secure it. And then we will add some more glue. Sure, this baby not coming out. Let's jump this one all up. Uh, probably got too much glue in here. We're already at 33 minutes. Yikes. I really wasn't trying to make it that long of a video, but as you can see, the process is a process. I know some people be like, oh, that's a long video. Well, I'm not skipping no steps. So if you want to tap it, tap it. Tap the screen. And you can just roll this out. I mean, we, I guess we can do this later, but I see it and I know it's still setting here. It's not ready. So, okay. So we can do that. So, that's good so now I'm going to go ahead and add another glue stick and I know like you guys hate when you put it in there and it always fall out right I got a solution for that if you put a little glue on the end of this piece and then stick it in there it'll attach it and you don't have to worry about it falling out mm -hmm. you're welcome Once it's on it, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and um, glue this down. And when I put my glue on here, since these don't have the little grooves, we're gonna make sure we put extra glue on both sides so that it's even. And see, like it, it has that in the middle, so it'll like rock a little bit. So you just wanna secure it. And although once we finish, it'll be fine, you know, but 
we're gonna try to fill this up with glue. And don't worry, you're not gonna see it. So when you hold it, you're gonna glue it down like this. And we can go ahead and put this. Let me just move this one. Let's go ahead and, oopsie. Did I hit it with that? Let's try that again. Oh, I think I might have put a little too much on this one. So we just put it right across the middle. And like a little bit on the side, because that's where it's gonna fall. And we'll set it in place. And this is where you this is gonna be your only chance to maneuver it to get it where you want to be. Because once it's stick, it's stuck. So that look about about even. That's good. So just wanna press down. Got half a body. And this is where I will apply my E6000. And I'll put a little, just kind of rub it across here and I'll rub it here. And I'll, I'll get, make sure I'll get on the springs here and I'll put it, I don't put it, I leave a little space for the hot glue to go because we want to put the hot glue to hold it down together um, while this is drying so it doesn't go anywhere. So I do leave a little space in between where I put in the glue. And you may not need as much, but you know, I'm generous because I don't want it to come loose. So, and because once this and then I'll put a little bit of height on this side because remember the rock. So I'll put a little bit there and then a little bit here just for the height purpose because it'll smush down. And I may have used more than enough, but make sure it's not going anywhere. So we will put... So I'll make sure I get in those little grooves. And you work and, and when you do this, go ahead and do it and stick it on because this glue is not going to you know stay that hot. So we just want to like put a little pressure to it. Because remember, we're really trying to even it out too. got a flower pot lady so I would have put a little more glue hot glue on it but it wasn't coming out like a oh you know why because remember I told y'all I put too much glue it's still stuck in the back shelf see it stops here but it wasn't it's not pushing it see it's no you know this one Normally this part is here, so it has the groove that's pushing it through. Yeah, it's not. Just because I put too much glue on it. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take this off. Take this off. I didn't put as much. See, it's joined right there. So I hope I put enough hot glue on here. See, it's already 
be stuck. And I shouldn't have done that because I don't want to take a chance of it, you know. I'm going to just put a little pressure on it. And also, when you put your decorations on, you want to make sure it's secure because depending on what kind of decorations you're going to put on. Since I'm going to be doing the a lady, you know, this, when I put her some jewelry on, if I put her some on, that actually holds it together as well. That's more, um, makes it more secure. And then we can always go through here and I'll just run a line, a bead of glue through here. Because remember I was telling you the rock, like you can't rock it now, but you can still see like a little gap. That's glue too, the clear glue, you can see it. But So I'm just going to take this and run it along this in the crease. And actually, I just do it until it, you know, I see it starting to come out. So I know it's full right there. Are you having fun? I am. here where we started so we'll just give that a few minutes and when it's while it's wet if you want to like smooth it out you can but I just thought about it no worries Okay, now let's put her some clothes on. She rock, rock, rock here all naked and stuff. Okay, so we have our piece that we cut. Now, what we'll do is we'll put this here, and then we are going to um, cut a little slit here so that um, they'll just fall on top of it. under this side and again you can pull it it stretches and this is um the fleece uh fabric and it was really inexpensive i want to say it was i don't know 6.99 yard of 5.99 and then they had a six percent off i think i stepped on some glue yep so We're going to glue this around here. So let's just start with this side here. How about that? So, and again, we're going to pull it just to snug it a little bit. And, and the fabric is going to kind of be at an angle, which is, which is good. So make sure that it fits. So I'm just going to... And I'm going to put it right at the corner of, you know, the neck. And this glue is not coming out like it's supposed to. I think my setting is, yeah, I, must, I hate it. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this little piece here. I, I, I must have pushed it down. I just pushed it back up to high. You don't have to be all the way up, but you do want to make sure that it's hot enough. So... It's not coming out as fluent. We got to give her a name. Mm. How about Patty Cake? I like Patty Cake. This is going to be Patty Cake. So I'm just putting it on back of the fabric. Just... So I can see, and then I'll just smooth it down. And 
and I'll and, and in the future I'll do them and I'll make them a little shorter I'll just kind of keep it you know go a little faster but since this is the first one so I'm just gonna snip this a little bit here and then we'll snip it a little bit here and let's go ahead and glue this just gonna put a little here go ahead and, and you don't have to you know put a lot a lot of glue because you're going to make sure see how easy it's coming on now it's going to make sure that it's tacked in the front i guess that's a little more than tacked huh i think i'm I'm pulling it off because I, I think I, I don't want to pull it that tight because I want the little bubbles to kind of show a little more. I mean, you, I'm just going to glue right over this. See, you mess up, you just take it off and do it again. I'm not going to pull it as tight in the front so I can see some of the little... I'm going to say bubbles. I know it's just a fabric, but. And then we'll go ahead and. So since this one here, I show, you know, with all the material and everything, probably future videos, I'll probably already have my stuff cut out. I mean, you know, all the pieces and everything, all the... Yeah. I'm not going to cut that extra off quite yet. So now she has on her clothes and I think since we're already at 40 something minutes, we will go ahead, I'll go ahead and make a part two because it's kind of long. So um, thank you guys for watching me up until this part. So I will get right back on. So stay there. Don't go nowhere. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this one since we're at 48 minutes. Yikes. And, um, and then we'll do a part two. Okay. So in the meantime, love you, mean it. I'm doing me. I'll pray for you and you pray for me. I'll see you in a minute. Don't go nowhere. Wait, then sit down. Okay. Go use the restroom and come right back. Okay. All right.